this video I want to quickly show you that the Onkyo TX RZ50 passes Dolby Vision Gaming from the Xbox Series X to the display. As you can see the Xbox detects all the features and it's plugged directly into the Onkyo receiver. Once the Xbox detects compatibility we can now enable Dolby Vision Gaming from the menu. My TV is the Vizio P-Series Quantum X 85 inch. It does not support variable refresh rates above 60 frames per second. From there just go load up whichever game you have that supports it. Let's go check out Gears of War 5. Watch for the red arrows on the right of the screen. The Dolby Vision logos appear very quickly displaying on both the TV and the Onkyo as it's detected. I'm going to edit this for time because I'm sure you have better things to do. Once we get past all the loading I'll pull up the config menu on the TV. It'll show Dolby Vision calibrated at the top. Right now I have the Pro Gaming Engine features turned off. They basically do nothing on this TV since VRR is a bust. Uh, the Xbox Series X actually won't even work when it's turned on. So I have to turn that off for it to connect to this TV and work whether I'm at 60 or 120. Doesn't matter. Tinkering with the backlighting, trying to improve the black levels a little bit. Just take a moment to admire these visuals. I can't believe how far console gaming has come since I first started gaming back in. Okay, enough of that. Let's pull up the TV menu and look at the data that it sees. admin menu we can see what the frame rates are and any other specs including what type of HDR is being fed to the TV. Pressing the info button on the TV remote shows some stuff up at the top. Display resolution, Dolby Vision, and how it's connected. Sorry, I'm kind of just admiring the visuals again. Pressing the info button on the Ankyo remote displays up to three screens as you cycle through. The first screen shows you what signal it's receiving from the source and how it's sending it to the speakers. I have DTS-X enabled on the Xbox and that's what I'm hearing in my 9-channel system. In just a moment, we'll go into the audio settings of the Xbox and switch it to Dolby Atmos and get the info from the Onkyo again. Now the Xbox is sending Dolby Atmos to the Onkyo. Pressing info again tells you the HDMI data and how it's sending it to the TV. Pressing it a third time gives you the MAC address, IP address, and its displayed name on your network. That's it for now. See you next time.